Alright, so as I was writing my script for this review, I was legitimately going to do a Windex joke, so I went to go find some Windex. But all we have is the Parade brand of glass cleaner. Thanks, Mom and Dad. My Big Factory Gwen 2 stars everyone from the original cast back again for the next wedding. This time, Nia Vardalos and John Corbett, their kids all grown up and she's in her senior year of high school, and she's also struggling with embracing being Greek, as well as her senior year of high school in general because the principal of her school is also her father. At the same time, however, her granddad finds out that he is not legally married to her grandmother because the document was not signed. So for this big fat Greek wedding, rather than the young people, it's the older people that are doing the wedding. Now I really like the first My Big Fat Greek Wedding. I own it on DVD and I recently just watched it for the first time this week and I really liked it. So going into this, I wanted to see something that wasn't a 100% cash grab. And what did I get? The film is definitely a cash grab. However, I must say it was really nice to see all the original characters and cast on screen. And the addition of Elena Camporis in the film. She wasn't anything terrible, she wasn't anything amazing, she did alright, and I didn't really, like, think her character was that bad. Easily, though, for me, the standout in the film was Michael Constantine, who plays the granddad. I mean, this man hasn't acted in 14 years, and he nails it in this movie. Like, I'm Greek, and if I had ever met my grandfather, I guarantee he would have been like this. He He's so real, like, the stuff that he says is stuff that I can understand because of my crazy Greek family and I thought it was very witty lines that he had. Some of them are a little stupid but I think he delivers them excellently and overall I really liked his character. However the film is just one big jumbled mess in terms of its story and its editing. I mean, there's so many like stories that they're trying to like put in here all at once and it like gets a bit overwhelming. I mean we have John Corbett and Nia Vardalos like relationship problems sometimes. We have Elena Camporis trying to like, go through senior year, we have her trying to go to prom, we have the thing with the grandparents, we have the freaking Joey Fatone being gay, which, by the way, that comes out of, like, left field, and it's kind of like, hey, hey, yeah, I, I'm gay, like, I'm not, I, I'm fine with that, but it just seemed like the writers were just like, well, let's have some social commentary, he's gay. Good call. Overall, though, I can't deny that I joined the film quite a bit. However, I still must mark it down for its editing, its story, and its pacing throughout. I mean, it's only an hour and a half, and it felt like two hours. With all that said, I'm going to give my big fat Greek wedding to a C minus. All right, so now that I said what I had to say about this film, what did you guys think of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you gonna see it? Are you not gonna see it? Whatever you want to tell me, you're probably not gonna see it because Batman vs Superman is out. But Anyway, if you if you did see it, just let me know what you thought, and if you haven't already, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And on Tuesday, I'm seeing Hello, My Name is Doris, and not this Sunday, but next Sunday, I'm going to see Everybody Wants Some. So stay tuned to those reviews, and until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 411, and I will see you all later. <laughs>